Hi, I'm Helen and welcome to my channel. Today's class is a vinyasa flow class to get the blood moving, get us feeling good in our bodies, stretching everything out and just celebrating life and springtime. We'll start standing up. So bring the big toes together with the heels slightly apart, really ground down into all four corners of the feet. That's the big toe, little toe, inner and outer heels. Knees are stacked above the ankles. Hips are stacked above the knees. Shoulders are back and down and above the hips. Chin is parallel to the floor. And imagine there's a thread coming out the crown of the head and just start to close the eyes and bring the palms to the chest. Center it in on the breath. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Inhale. Deep exhale. And just use this time to set an intention for your practice. Maybe you wish to dedicate it to somebody or something that's special to you, or use it to express gratitude to something or somebody in your life. Take a moment here to focus in on this intention. And then slowly release the hands and open the eyes. On an inhale, palms come up to the sky. Take hold of the right wrist with the left fingers and then lean over to the left, really grounding into the right foot. Feeling the stretch in the right side body. Inhale back to center, over to the other side. Grounding into this left foot, feeling the stretch down the left side body. Inhale center, one more time each side. Inhale back up and then over to the other side. Inhale back up. Arms come out to a T and then from the waist twist over to the left. Keeping the hips facing forward and having the movement come from the waist. Inhale back to center, over to the other side. Inhale back to center. Release the hands back to the chest. Now inhale, arms come up. Full body stretch, fingertips together, and exhale, tipping from the waist, come forward into a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out of the waist, and exhale, descend. So you can bring the hands down to the floor, and just sway gently from side to side. You can have the knees bent here if that feels better. We're just still warming up the hamstrings. If you like, you can cup the elbows for ragdoll and then hands come to the waist and we'll come all the way back up so move to the top of the mat we'll move for a few half sun salutations inhale palms come up to the sky exhale tip in from the waist hands come down inhale halfway lift really pulling out of this waist exhale descend inhale palms up Palms to the chest. Again, inhale, palms lift. Exhale, folding from the waist. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, palms come up. Palms to chest. One more of these. Inhale, palms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, palms up, arms to the chest. Inhale, palms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands and step back to downward facing dog. Hands are shoulder width apart, grounding into the base of the knuckles. Upper back is wide, collarbone is wide. Knees can be bent and sit bones to the sky. Lengthen out of the waist, lengthen the entire spine, and then just start to walk your dog. 
So again, just waking up the hamstrings. Maybe you wanna bring a little hip movement into it, whatever feels good. And then start to settle for your hip width apart. Maybe just send the heels down towards the earth. And then from here, wave the spine forward to plank. Inhale back to downward facing dog. Couple of these plank waves, inhale forward, really engaging all the core, back to dog. Imagine the movements coming from the belly. Inhale forward, exhale, back to downward facing dog. From here, we'll move forward to plank again, and hold for five breaths. So really plug the shoulders into the sockets, engage, the whole of the front body, engage the legs, push up the space between the shoulder blades and breathe here. Really feel the whole of the front body supporting you. Focus the mind. Couple more breaths. and inhale back to downward facing dog take a free breath inhale right leg to the sky exhale right foot steps up between the hands plant the back knee right knee over right ankle and inhale come up into this low lunge just to send the hips here right hip coming back left hip coming forward you can release the back foot just descend here for a moment. Just getting into this left hip flexor and then inhale, arms come up. Interlace the fingers except for the index fingers and exhale, tip over to the right. So stretching out left side body, left hip flexor. Inhale, return to center. Hands come down, we push the hips back for a half split. Keeping this right leg active, right foot active. And then inhale forward, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale forward, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale forward, low lunge. Plant the hands, tuck the toes downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, left foot steps up. Right knee descends. Come up into this low lunge. So descending the hips. Feeling this opening in the right hip flexor. Pulling back this left hip and this right hip coming forward, scissoring those thighs. Inhale, arms come up. Point the index fingers and interlace the others and descend over to the left. Then inhale back up to the sky. Exhale, plant the hands and then move the hips back for three hamstring slides. So half split, left leg Straight and strong with the foot flex. Inhale forward, head lift. Exhale, move back. Inhale forward. Exhale, move back. Inhale, come forward. Plant the hands, lift the back knee, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank and then lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, step forward. 
keeping the back heel lifted ground into the front heel come up high lunge arms are high front ribs are engaged back leg straight and strong five breaths two three four five and sweep the right hand behind and we'll come into this high lunge twist for five one two three four five inhale back to center palms come to the chest lean forward using the strength of the core lift this left elbow hook it over this right thigh now if this is too much you can always bring this back knee down and we'll stay here for five so the gazing point is the right elbow using the core really engage in the belly three four and five exhale hands come down step back downward facing dog rock forward to plank knees chest and chin or maybe chaturanga upward facing dog or cobra downward facing dog inhale left leg lifts exhale left foot steps up inhale high lunge five breaths here remember keep those front ribs in shoulders away from the ears arms are straight back leg is straight scissor in the thighs back heel pushing into an imaginary wall that's three breaths already four five and then sweep this left arm back and we'll come into this high lunge twist for five one two three four and five inhale back to center palms come to the chest Lean forward out of the waist, right elbow lifts, hooks over this left leg. Five breaths here. Again, if you like, you can bring the back knee to the floor. Two, three, four, and five. Hands plant, step back downward facing dog rock forward to plank chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog take a free breath here and we'll move through that little sequence a bit quicker and then add on inhale right leg to the sky exhale right foot steps forward Inhale, high lunge. Right arm sweeps back, high lunge twist. Inhale, forward. Palms to chest. Lean forward out of the waist. Lift this left elbow. Hook over into side twist, prayer twist. Then inhale back to center, arms come behind, and then we'll come up into a warrior three. Just move back a bit. So arms can be behind. <laughs> Engage in the core, fixed gazing point. Back leg is bone straight. Then hands come down. Bring this left foot back, right foot lifts to the sky, 
Look, four to three-legged plank, maybe three-legged chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One pre breath. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot steps up. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, high lunge, open twist. Inhale, forward to high lunge. Palms come to the chest. Lean forward out of the waist. Lift this right elbow, hook on the outside of this um, knee. Back to center. Transitioning into warrior three. Inhale, come up onto this left leg. Arms can come behind. Leg is straight. Hips are facing the floor. Then plant the hands. Step this right foot back. Left leg lifts to the sky. Rock forward into a three-legged plank. Chaturanga, maybe three legs. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a free breath. And then inhale, right leg to the sky. Right foot steps up. Plant the back foot, 45 degrees. Heel to arch alignment, inhale up. Warrior two. Bending into this front leg. Back edge of the back foot is grounded into the earth. Shoulders away from the ears, arms are at a T. Breathe here. Right hip sucked under. Equal weight in the front foot and the back foot. Then flip the front palm and inhale, reverse. Making sure that front leg stays bent. Inhale, come up. Straighten the front leg. Maybe shuffle the back foot in a bit. Reach forward out of the waist. Then a hand comes down to either the shin, the floor, or a block. The triangle, releasing the left arm to the sky. Ground into the big toe mound of the right foot. Rotate the right thigh outwards. Engage in the core. Breathe here. Belly is active. Lengthen out both sides of the waist. And the shoulders are away from the ears. Then using this left hand, pull yourself back up. Go into reverse triangle. Exhale, bend the front knee, plant the hands, rotate on the back toe. Right leg lifts to the sky, rock forward. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot steps up. Heel to arch alignment. Warrior two. Really bending into this front leg. Shoulders above the waist. Arms are active. Breathe here. Make sure the left hip's coming under. Don't forget about this back arm. Then flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Inhale, come back up. Transition into Trikonasana triangle, so maybe shorten your stance. Scoop these hips back. Lengthen out of the waist and then bring the hand down to over your shin, the floor, or a block. And open out to the right side. Right arm stacked over the shoulders. Grounding into this left big toe mound. Rotating the left thigh outwards. 
keeping the right leg engaged lengthen out both sides of the waist And using the right arm, pull yourself back up. Reverse triangle. Then bend the front knee, plant the hands. Step back, plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a free breath. We'll add on, inhale right leg to the sky, exhale, right foot steps through, cartwheel up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Inhale, come back up, straighten the front leg, triangle. Left hand to left hip look forward bend this front knee hand comes forward six to twelve inches stack the hips half moon maybe release the arm up to the sky really sucking in the belly here blossom in open the hips to the left side And then as gracefully as possible, return to warrior two. Cartwheel the hands, step back, three-legged dog, rock forward, three-legged chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One breath. And then we'll do side two. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot steps up. Warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm. Reverse warrior. Inhale, come back up. Triangle pose. Right hand to right hip. Bend into this front leg to transition. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Stack the hips. And maybe release the top arm to the sky. If you want to challenge yourself, look up. Keeping this back leg active and the foot flexed. Stacking the pelvis. You can always use a block here if the floor's a little bit too far away. And then release back gracefully to warrior two. <laughs> As I fall over. Cartwheel the arms down. Left leg to the sky. Three legged chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Knees as wide as the mat, child's pose. So let out a big exhale through the mouth. And just center in on the breath. And slowly push yourself up and come over the ankles into a seated pose. Move the flesh of the buttocks back. Bring this left leg into the chest and then allow it to fall open to the side. We're moving into Janushi Sasana, which is head to knee pose. Inhale, lengthen out of the spine, and then exhale, coming forward from the waist, 
and come over this right leg. Right leg is active with the foot flex. Inhale, lengthen out of the waist and exhale, descend. If you like, you can take the left hand and put it outside the right foot and pull yourself a little bit further towards the earth. Surrender here. So as always, don't be fixated on grabbing the foot or getting your head to your knee. Be content with where you are. However deep you are in the pose, you're getting the same stretch as everyone else. This is the time to detach from ego and expectation and enjoy the journey itself. And inhale, lengthen the spine, come back up. Bring this left knee in, release forward, maybe shake the legs out, second side. So right knee comes in, lengthen the spine, then allow it to fall open. Inhale, lengthen out of the waist, then exhale, come forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, descend. Again, you can use the opposite hand on the outside of the left leg and surrender down. These asymmetrical poses really reveal imbalances in our bodies. And for me, my left hamstring is not as open as my right, so I don't get as deep this side. And inhale, come back up. Come back up to seated. Bring this right knee in and then release and just wiggle the thighs releasing and then we'll make our way down onto the back so bring in heels the feet flat to the floor arms in front use that core to release you down one vertebra at a time as slow as possible Super, super slow motion. And then release. So bring the heels directly under the knees. We just do a bridge pose. So reach down and touch the fingertips on the backs of the heels. Ground into the upper back. Inhale, lift the pelvis. If you like, you can interlace the fingers. Join the stretch in the front body here. And then if you have the fingers interlaced, unlock them and then release down one vertebra at a time so the sacrum comes down last. Bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze and then keeping the feet together, bring the knees wide, reach through and grab, uh, interlace around the feet, pushing the heels together and the knees wide for this reclined Butterfly pose. Getting into the inner groin here, opening the hips. Doing it laying on the back like this really maintains integrity in the spine, it stops any kind of rounding. And then 
where you've got your fingers interlaced around your feet, release the feet and bring them up to the sky for happy baby. So pulling the knees down towards the armpits with the entire length of the spine as best you can on the floor. Feet are to the sky as if they're pressing into the clouds. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. If you like, you can rock gently from side to side here. Maybe lengthen one leg straight. Again, just a little bit of a hamstring stretch. And come back to center. Maybe the other side. to center and then bring the knees together find a little squeeze and then release the feet out one by one to the earth allow your body to completely surrender palms to the sky in a gesture of openness let everything go let go of any limiting thoughts or negative self-talk you may be having. Enjoy this moment of complete relaxation. Start to bring some awareness into the fingers and toes, just maybe moving them gently. Bring the mind back into the room. And then interlace the fingers above the head. Stretch the body, full body stretch. At the start of the class, I said we'll celebrate springtime, the time of renewal and growth. Hopefully, as you move through this class, you felt renewed in some way. Maybe some growth in your strength, in the body and the mind. Bring the knees in one by one. Give yourself a squeeze. Maybe reach the head up and kiss each knee as a thank you for getting you through the class. And then when you're ready, just roll gently over onto the side into fetal position. The eyes are still closed. And then gently push the body up and come into a comfortable seated position. Hands are on the knees facing upwards with the palms to the sky. Making yourself open to receive. And then bring the palms together at the chest. Raise your prayer above the head. Lengthen it up and bring the palms to the third eye for your intuition. Palms to the lips for your communication. 
and then palms to your heart sending out good vibes and happiness take this time to just reconnect with the intention you set at the start of class and then slowly open the eyes well, thank you for joining me today I'm sure you're somewhere in quarantine like I am just make sure you get out every day, feel the sun on your face, get fresh air, connect with nature. I cut these yellow flowers from my garden. I don't know what they are, but they've already brought a bit of springtime into the house. Take care and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.